Hey, so I started this uh, painting project thinking I'd just try out a roller and see how it goes, but then I, I keep painting, so I thought I'd start a time lapse. I've done some of the front of the bus and stuff, but my main motivation in getting this is so that I can start driving it around, take it to Home Depot to pick stuff up, um, get a sense for, you know, really familiar with the engine and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm gonna put the time lapse on and you can watch me paint. We'll see how much I get done. Thank you. Hey, so I, I think I'm going to call it a night. <clears throat> it's been, I've been working on the bus since I think maybe 5 p.m. Finished up a day of work and came out to, uh, to like uh, get a roller's worth of paint and throw it on the bus to see what it was like. And then I ended up painting 98% of the bus. So that's in the first time lapse that you saw. Um, so I did want, I really wanted to, to get uh, working on these sofas a bit more, which are back here, because um, we're planning to take a trip this weekend. And uh, I really want to take the bus. It seems unlikely that if we were to leave on Thursday or Friday or something that I'd be able to have this in a place where we could actually travel in it. like. Bulk beds there and a bed for Emily over here, <laughs> but uh, I am motivated. So, anyways, um, I thought I'd point out a couple things. One, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, if you think you're taking tips and plans from me, uh, proceed with caution because I have never in my life built sofas. I have never in my life done any of this stuff. So. But it's kind of cool. So the idea is here um, with these slatted, see all these slats? Every other slat is a fixed slat to this setup. You don't need all of these slats to support your weight. So every other slat will be fixed. Every, let's say those are every odd slat, every even slat. Um, will slide out So like this slat and all of its brothers and sisters will slide out like this towards the center um, And they'll be on like a, a base there or whatever where it will meet the slats that are coming over from this side at forming one ginormous bed and then I also have to figure out a way for the slats that are fixed to be on a hinge so that I can lift all of these up and access things like my awesome inverter underneath, storage, so on and so forth. So I've got a couple friends that are smarter than me um, that I talk to on a pretty regular, pretty regular basis as I move forward with this. I tend to do something and then ask them if it was a stupid idea. So, so far it's been pretty good, but... Um, so we got a bit of ways to go, um, but this is the big, you know, first major thing. With the completion of this sofa, will probably be the completion of um, getting the power started, and then the, the cord running back there. This for different outlets I'll put in. But I do still have to build a bunk bed set there, Emily's bed with uh, compartments for all her medical supplies and stuff. Um, so I have ways to go. 
Uh, but done is a relative idea, right? So, you know, I don't know. As long as I have seats and perhaps maybe a couple beds, um, maybe we can take this on a trip at the end of the week. So, um, but, you know, I'm going to hold my breath. So, thanks for watching all the videos. See ya.